Hi, welcome. It's Meredith. I am here with a message for Monday, November 30th, 2020. We are using Gregory Scott Tarot for our message today. And we are having a full moon, partial lunar eclipse in the sign of Gemini today. Be on the lookout for a reading about that a little bit later in the day today. Uh, let's get started. Our cards from the bottom of the deck, they represent... Uh, the primary energy is charging the atmosphere for us. This is what we're navigating, dancing and surfing with today. Our first card is <laughs> the gorgeous Ace of Cups. Now that's how you start a reading, right? Ooh, fantastic card. You know that's a divine and cosmic gift of love, bliss, joy, happiness on overflow to us. And that is because we are making a heart-centered happy contribution to the divine all that is within self-relationship. This is the way we are talking to the universe and this is how the universe responds on overflow. I am reminded of something I read or something someone said to me, but you take one step toward the divine and it takes 10 steps towards you. And that's what I see right there in our beautiful Ace of Cups. Oh, how nice. Our next card is... The Eight of Wands. <laughs> Sorry, I got distracted for a moment. I love this card. Boy, we've been visited by the Eights uh, quite a bit lately. Lots of movement, and I find that refreshing because we have been deep in Scorpio season. We've had a retrograde in Scorpio as well. Now we're on the date of the eclipse. We're being exposed to energies we are not typically exposed to. Uh... This eclipse energy can be with us for the next 6 to 18 months. So isn't it fantastic to see swift moving energy on the Eight of Wands? Because during, during the retrograde, there was a, a sense of a perception of energy moving kind of slowly and sluggishly. And here we have, you know, an Ace of Cups blessing an Eight of Wands. Wow, right? Lots of communication, lots of heart-centered communication. Uh, we're speaking, we're speaking our authenticity with love and without verbal clutter. We're just sharing from the heart and, ooh, feeling strong in that, right? The Eight of Wands is also a unifying card. It unifies energy. So it was at one time considered a marriage card. So we're weaving things together at this time. And I feel that we're doing it with our communication from expressing uh, through the heart space, we are, we are weaving our bonds with the people we know, love, and trust in a way that is happy, satisfying, and fulfilling. Next we have, oh yeah, the gorgeous death card. Why not? Because that changes our landscape, doesn't it? I love how it's done in this deck because we're looking at a really gorgeous, peaceful landscape. So there's simultaneous endings and beginnings. And what I feel is ending here is that sluggish, slow energy that we were experiencing and leveraging, making the most of in Scorpio season. And we're on the move. Uh, we're on the move now. We are ready to share. We're ready to be open. Uh, we're coming out of, let's say, the shroud of quiet and stillness. That's kind of exciting. Let's see what else we've got going on in the reading for us. Oh, look at this. Our beautiful King of Cups. I call him the marrying man. Mmm, I love this king. He's all the water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces right here. He's emotionally awake, aware, alert, and intimate. And it's just that, isn't it? That's all the gravy, isn't it? Uh, we love to share and connect in this way. This is what charges and amplifies our bonds and connections with the people who mean the most to us. So I love seeing this king. And with him is our beautiful emperor. So we have passion for this. We have passion for this kind of sharing and connecting. I feel my guides are saying to me, anything less just won't do. And uh, we're more inclined to go deep with the people uh, who are closest to us and really invest less of our hmm, 
precious and beautiful light in places where it's just not appreciated or it just can't be met. You know, if we're not being met where we are, we, we're more inclined to move swiftly away from those types of environments and atmospheres. I like that. And we're doing it in a stable, wise way because with the emperor present, we are tapping all of our collective experience and wisdom and we're bringing it into the emotional realm and how beautiful is that because it continues to feed the overflow of the ace of cups which again brings us back to the swift moving energy of this eight in a totally different landscape mm, very nice and then next we have the knight of cups how sweet knights move energy between cards so He's following, look at all this divine masculine energy. He is following the king of cups, the emperor. And where's he going? The, this particular knight carries the ace of cups. So here we see the ace of cups with the king. We see it now with the knight. Where are we moving this beautiful overflow? Right into the lover's card, right into choice and decision. So that's amazing stability for us that shows our consistency in choosing happiness choosing uh all the love of our life right and we put that charge in the atmosphere for ourselves and we are engaging with others who are doing a similar thing so we're amplifying our energies by being in this beautiful emotional yet stable realm of communication and sharing Ooh. How sweet is that? So the uh, the lover's card is about following your heart. And I don't sense that there's any obstacle in the path at all. Because look at the beautiful eight, right? Look at the stable emperor. And look at the universe blessing us with that kind of overflow. So we're following our hearts. We're traveling with the ace of cups. Being the love, the light that we are. Um, in... An uninhibited way we're passionate about it and then next what are we doing we're stepping through oh the three of wands the gateway of the three of wands you know we're putting more roots down in this realm uh, this is where it's at for us any anything less than this just will not do so we're gonna keep moving forward with the three of wands we're gonna build on this I love that message so here's another representation of energy being woven together because the two of wands is a gateway, a threshold, right? We step across a threshold to a new realm of experience. And here with this person on the lion, I feel a nod to the strength card. We've got passion and fire here in this suit of wands. We want to build on this, right? So we're creating more. We're creating more opportunity for ourselves and the universe is blessing us with more. Coming with our three. Look at this, the two of cups. More confirmation of what I'm saying over here, what I'm sensing from the cards over here, that intimately bonded connections are where we want to invest our energy at this time. It brings more fulfillment, more happiness, more satisfaction, and all of that comes together so that we have more to offer every aspect of our life, every aspect of our world, and every relationship in it. Oh, that's beautiful. And then we have, look at this, some nice divine feminine in the Empress. See, She's all about incubation, gestation, nurturing, growing. She's a strong divine mother energy. She is the mother of the tarot. So we have the emperor and the empress in the reading here. Very harmonized, very balanced energies. This all feels like a blessing to us. And we want to nurture that blessing, nurture this overflow, right? And the empress is just the card to do that with. And coming with her, look at this. <laughs> Yeah, it's not enough just to have one cup. We've got ten. All of them overflowing with happiness. Come on. That's a beauty of a reading right there. Ten of Cups, you know, is one of the happiest cards in tarot. And all tens in tarot represent the fulfillment and the satisfaction of something. And it means that we're moving on to a new realm of experience. We have that represented by the three. Not only are we moving on, but we've already put some roots down in that realm. And this is proof of 
what happens when we plant seeds of happiness, love, joy, bliss, right? From this overflow. Mm. It's confirmation of us maintaining this and continuing to grow it. Ooh. Let's do angel answers now. If you have a question, it's a great time to ask it and allow the cards to answer it for you. Just dropped a whole bunch of them. There were too many. <laughs> Emphatic success. That card's been with us for a while. Trust your journey because emphatically, yes, you are moving in the right direction. One more. <laughs> Again, too many falling out. We have... I'm going to go with this one. We don't see it often, but it's the no card. And I like seeing it with the emphatic yes card because this is confirmation for me of the death card. Endings and beginnings. So there is energy that we went deep with through Scorpio season. We brought it to fulfillment and completion, Ten of Cups, and emphatically, yes, chose a new direction for ourselves. And that direction is all about the happiness. So I feel that the card itself brings a question to us. Are we going back where we were or are we continuing forward? So no, I don't feel like we're, we're going back or taking a step back. I feel that we are boldly leaping forward, swiftly moving forward. And I love to see the energy moving in this swift, vibrant way because that feels really refreshing to each and every one of us. Okay, next, last, our affirmation from the universe. <laughs> as your back and how perfect a message I am the loving energy of the universe yes you are and this all of what you see here is what you are creating on your foundation and this is what you have to share and I have to receive and return to you in kind isn't that beautiful have a wonderful wonderful day today everyone enjoy the eclipse and as I mentioned earlier, I will be doing an eclipse reading for you just a little bit later today. Peace, love, happiness to each and every one of you. Namaste.